hello students sairam i welcome you all to the part 4 of chapter number 1 food where does it come from in this chapter students today we are going to study about what do animals eat children have you visited to the zoo or in many videos might have you seen or noticed that what do these animals eat if i'll talk about the deer cow sheep what do they eat children they eat only plants like grass or green leaves whereas when i'll talk about the lions and the tigers you will say that they depends upon the flesh of other animals there are more animals like vultures and eagles they feed upon the dead animals as i have shown you on the screen in today's session we will see the variety of animals and their different food habits now based on their eating habits here we have classified them as herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous and scavengers and decomposers now we will study one by one about them first is herbivores or we can say that herbivorous animal here the name itself tells us that herbi means plant and vor means eaters that means plant eater herbivores are those that eat only plant and plant products cow deer horse giraffe squirrels and butterflies are the example of herbivores your children herbivores like cows horse goat have white and blunt teeth such teeth are suitable for pulling plants off the ground and grinding them herbivores like cow and camel have ability to bring back previously swallowed food to the mouth for chewing it the second time this helps them to absorb most of the nutrients from hard to digest food like grass squirrels have a pair of broad sharp edged front teeth you can say incisors in each jaw they use this teeth to no food items from the nuts herbivores like butterfly and hummingbird do not do not need to worry about chewing their food they have mouth part shaped like a straw to suck the nectar from the flowers next as the carnivores carnivore animals or carnivores here the name itself tells us carni means meat vor means eaters means the animal those who eat only the flesh of other animals are known as carnivores or we can say that carnivorous animal lion tiger jackal owls eagle snake and spiders are the examples of carnivores now we'll see some special characteristics of carnivores carnivores like lion tigers have sharp and pointed front teeth that is we call canines they also have sharp claws and powerful jaws which help them to tear the flesh carnivorous birds like eagle have curved pointed beak that allow them to tear the flesh carnivores like chameleon and frog have a long sticky tongue that they use to catch insects carnivores fish like shark have has several sharp teeth that help them to bite off the chunk of flesh now children we'll study about the omnivorous animals or we we call them as omnivores omni means all and vores means eaters omnivores are those that eat both plant and flesh of other animals are known as omnivorous animals here bear raccoon crow human beings cats dogs are the examples of omnivorous animals and omnivorous animals we call them as omnivores now we will see some special characteristics of omnivores omnivores like bear and human beings have different type of teeth that help them to eat both plant and flesh of the other animals omnivores birds like crow have a sharp and pointed beak to help them to eat a variety of food your children now next as scavengers and decomposers 
instead of hunting the live animals some birds and animals eat flesh of the other animals that are already dead vulture is one such one such bird these animals or birds are called as scavengers some other organisms feed on the destroyed or decomposed dead plants or animals they are known as decomposers fungi and bacteria are the example of such organisms these organisms which feed on the decay or destroyed or we can say decomposed dead plants and animals are known as decomposers your children together the together with the scavengers and decomposers play a very important role in the nature without these organisms our planet would be covered with the dead plants and animals now we'll do one activity in this activity children here on the screen i have shown you few names of animals and you have to categorize these animals in the category of herbivorous animals or we can say herbivores carnivores and omnivores you have to categorize them in this three, three categories depending upon their eating habits now first children owl owl here owl is a carnivore animal as it it eats the other animals flesh same like next is deer deer eats grass and green leafy leaves so it will it will come under the category of herbivores then next is bear children here bear is a omnivore as it eats both plants and the animal flesh that's why bear comes under the category of omnivores next dog dog is also a omnivores or we can say that omnivorous animal snake snake eats other small animals like rats so it is it it, it will come under the category of carnivores leopard also a carnivore the next is elephant elephant eats the leaves of the plants trunks even it eats the grass so it will come under the category of herbivore next is hen hen eats the small insects even grains grains are the product of plants so we'll call uh, we'll categorize hen under the category of omnivores next is cats cats are also omnivores as they eat the other small animals as well as the plant product that's why they are omnivores next is horse horse eat the leaves and the grass that is it eats only plant product so it will come under the category of herbivores now children this activity you have to note down in your science notebook next students we have seen that how precious the food is and it gives us energy to do various activity so it's our duty that we should not waste the food whichever we are getting can you think of some ways to prevent the wastage of food children here we'll do one activity and in this activity you have to enlist few ways by which you can prevent the wastage of food yes you have to write this in your science notebook children here i will enlist few ways and that are shop smartly children most of the people tend to buy more food than they need if you will make the list of items you need to buy this will help you to reduce the impulse buying and will reduce the food wastage next is store food correctly Impro improper storage of food leads to the massive amount of food wastage so whatever we are buying from the shop it's our duty to store it prop it in proper manner otherwise if we'll keep it as openly some insects will grow in that or due to the moisture it will get spoiled next is we should avoid excessive eating of food this will also leads to the wastage of food next is composting composting is the best way to prevent the wastage of food that means the excess food we keep, uh, we cook and we throw away as it is in the dustbin so your yeah, the best way to prevent the wastage of cooked food is composting now children we will do a quick revision of 
what are topics we have studied in this chapter number one food where does it come from first we studied about the definition of food do you remember the definition of food yes children the food is defined as the substance needed to do work which helps in growth and the development of our body and it prevents us from various diseases and keeps us healthy then we studied about the balanced diet and components of balanced diet yes children in this chapter we have studied about why do we eat the balanced diet or we can say that why the balanced diet is important to us and how are, what how are the different nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals and fibers are essential for our body as they supply with the all essential nutrient required by our body then we studied about the ingredients required to make variety of food items or dishes and ingredients are the materials required to prepare a food then we have seen the sources of food there are two source types of sources of food that are plant sources and animal sources then we have seen different parts of the plants that we eat as our food that we call as edible roots edible leaves edible stems edible flowers and fruits and seeds then, then next we have seen the different animal products that we consume as our food such as milk and milk products eggs fish meat and chicken even honey is also an animal product and in today's session we have seen that what do the animals eat and depending upon their food habits they are classified into three groups that are herbivores carnivores and omnivores children the animals those who eat only plants and plant products are known as herbivores or herbivorous animals next we have seen that the animals though the animals those who eat other animals or the flesh of other animals are known as carnivorous animals or carnivores next is omnivores omnivores are the animals those who eat both plant and plant products and the flesh of the animals are known as omnivorous animals then even we have studied today about the different ways to prevent the wastage of food in that i have explained you about how to prevent the wastage of food and that are your shop smartly means whatever we need that much only we need to buy there is no need to buy extra things even if we store the food properly it will also reduce the wastage of food items even ex we should stop eat excessive eating of food this also prevents the wastage of food and the last is composting Com composting of the cooked waste food is the best way to reduce the food materials here children i am ending today's session over here thank you students goodbye